um, he's uh, does an exchange sack for um, a palm. Knight takes h7, attacking my queen. King takes, weakening my king on the h file. And this provides white with an escape square on g5, uh, where we exchange queens. But my attack isn't finished yet. Um, now I can play knight to a g3 check with a fork. So white needs to move his king and he moves it to protect his uh, rook. Uh, knight takes rook and king retakes the knight. Fork number two between the king and the bishop. King moves to a g2. And here I can grab his bishop on e2. Now, it's interesting to point out that um, at this point uh, my knight is almost trapped and can only escape to a c3 where we can grab a pawn as well because I, I still have the bishop covering that uh, square. But black develops his bishop in order to um, prevent that retreat. So I um, re-maneuver my own bishop to c7 and provide a new escape square for my knight. Actually, um, rook takes pawn would have worked as well and provided cover for the knight. But um, bishop c7 was played. It's perhaps a little bit more elegant. Uh, king uh, goes to f2 attacking the knight and my bishop can retreat to g3. Now white develops his knight. Knight retreats further to f5. Uh, check. Attacking the knight. Pawn takes pawn. King takes pawn. And rook g1 check. So I retreat. Uh, white is going to run out of check soon enough. Uh, bishop c1, I take the open file, and here I decide to um, advance my pawns and break through um, with a uh, possible promotion. Now I have so many pieces here that are um, eyeing and attacking the white pawns that I am sure to get at least one through. So uh, bishop g5 check. King e5, and bishop to e3, and I take on the first pawn. And here I was expecting my opponent to retake the pawn, and instead he plays g5 check, so overly aggressive, keeps checking my king. Um, king f6, he advances his own pawn to uh, protect his rook. And I like to point out again that at this point, these two pawns are no longer of interest and um, I'm not going to waste time or move pieces in order to protect them. I'm just going to abandon uh, them. So here I take uh, his second pawn and getting a, a free promotion on the A file. So um, bishop d4 check, king e7, here he takes a pawn and I pin his bishop to his knight. Check, check, he has run out of checks. So now the bishop retreats to g5, and I keep pushing that pawn. Knight e3, and knight c2 just in time to um, capture the queen. But he did lose a minor piece to a pawn, and it's looking worse and worse for white. Rook to e2, in order to uh, prevent uh, check. Here I like to uh, simplify the end game because I'm way ahead on material and just trade his last uh, large piece. But he blocks with his bishop. And here I spot at the move. Uh, I play bishop to d8, attacking his bishop. However, now my own knight is unprotected. And sure enough, he took my knight. And uh, what was I do thinking here? Because um, 
looks like I just lost a minor piece for no reason but I was thinking um, exchange sacrifice um, my rook can take his rook but the only reason why I can't just yet is because it is protected by the white king so I need to chase it away first so bishop to b6 check now if he wants to guard his rook he has only one move that's uh, f3 then rook to uh, f1 check now he can't uh, guard his own rook but he can try and exchange rooks he plays uh, king to g2 rook g1 check and now his rook is uh, totally hanging and he needs to retreat his king in order to protect it or lose the piece so he's desperately trying to uh, hang on to the piece leading to um, bishop g4 checkmate and that's it uh, I hope you had a good time watching the vid and that it gave you some ideas in fighting the Polish